And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about Haggis, which is a, apparently, I'm not really sure what the theme of this game is, so we're just going to pretend that there's no theme. Uh, this is a tr trick-taking, or actually more specific, ladder-climbing style game. But what makes this game interesting and unique is that it plays with two or three players only. Now, there's a big group of people who love games like Teach You and Gang of Four and ladder climbing games like that, but those games are not very good with two or three. This one is. Oh, did I get the opinion early again? Well, let's check out the game and see what we think. Each player is giving one of these royalty cards in front of them that has no suit. A jack, a queen, and a king. And you can see the jack is worth two points, queen's three, king is five. All of them are double-sided, so it's pretty obvious. They just lay in front of you, but they are considered part of your hand. Fourteen cards are then dealt to everybody else. Now, there are five different suits in the game. You can see the different suits here. Uh, they're different colors, and they have different shapes to help differentiate between them. One of those suits is taken out in case you're playing only with two players. But players are going to draw 14 of these cards, and then the game starts. Now, this is like a typical trick-taking game, uh, or ladder-climbing game, and this is how it works in case you've never seen these before. Let's say I go first. On my turn, I can lead off with any combo I want. The combos I can lead off where are I can play a single card, or I can play a pair of cards, or I can play a triplet of cards, or I can play four of a kind, five of a kind, six of a kind, seven of a kind, eight of a kind. You say, how are eight of a kind possible if there's only five suits? Well, because I can always take one of these and play it as a wild of a card that's lower than it. So for the jack, I can play it as a wild anything all the way up to ten. And by the way, the cards go from two to ten. So if I play, I could do this if I wanted to and say four twos. Now, the next player has to play the exact same number of cards that I've played, but higher. So if I played four twos, they could play four sixes, or four eights, or four threes, whatever. And then we keep going back and forth until everyone passes. Once everyone passes, the player who has played the highest number takes all the cards and puts them in a pile. These are cards that they have won, and you can see some of the cards are worth points. Uh, specifically, the odd number cards... 3, 5, 7, and 9 are all worth points now, and, and, and the royalty. However, uh, I, I said you could play 3 of a kind, 4 of a kind, 5 of a kind, but you could also play straights of the same color. So I could, for example, play a 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 9, and 10, play my queen as the 8, and play a run, and then someone else would have to play a run that was higher, but the same number of cards. And so what you're trying to do in this game is you're trying to get rid of your hand. Because the, f because the first person to get rid of the hand is going to get more points than everyone else, and they're going to win all the cards that were left over. Three cards or eight cards, depending on how many players. The cards that are left over is called the Haggis, uh, so the name of the game, and you would win those. Now, there's something in this game called a bomb. Well, how the way a bomb works is you can always play a bomb, and that will win everything. Uh, well, there's, the bombs are actually ranked from lowest to highest. Uh, but, but for the most part... When you play a bomb, usually no one else is going to be able to beat that bomb. Now, the bombs are, the lowest bomb is a 3, 5, 7, 9 of the different colors. And then after that, there's bombs that are combinations of like the jack and queen, the jack and the king, and the queen and the king, or all three of them is the second highest bomb. The highest bomb possible is a 3, 5, 7, 9, all of the same suit. Well, there you go. You play a bomb, you automatically win the trick unless someone else plays a higher bomb than you. However, when you play a bomb, the cards that are won don't come to you, but go to your opponent. Or, if there's more than one opponent, you pick which opponent that they go to. Before a, a round begins, players are going to look at their hands of cards and say, Alright, how well am I going to do this round? And they are allowed to bet on how well they're going to do. You can bet 0, 15, or 30. Now, if you are correct in your bet, if you are the first person to go out, you will get the points that you bet. If you're not, you give those points to your opponent. So let's say I bet 15 with my initial hand. I'm pretty happy with that, but I don't go out first. Then I've just given my opponent 15 points. And this would be why you would play a bomb, because sometimes it's worth it to give your opponent some good cards to go out first, because you might be getting 15, 30, 45, 60 points, and... 
you know, all the points in the haggis, which, you know, is, is nothing to scoff at, maybe. So, that's how you do it. At the end of each round, you count up your points that you won from bets. You count up all the points and any cards that you have won. You add those together, and you keep playing rounds until you get to a predetermined number of points. Uh, the rules, I believe, suggest 250, but whatever. You can play to whatever you want. First person to get the most points wins. So, a two-player ladder climbing game. Hey, I like that. Now, see, what I'll teach you, and I know I hesitate to say this with all the teach you fanatics out there, but I like teach you, but I don't understand why some people out there, thank you, think it's the greatest game ever. Uh, but, you know, you, you need partnerships, and then you have the one partner getting mad at the other partner because he played a bomb, and you're not supposed to play a bomb, you're not supposed to call a grand teach you at that point. Well, sorry, I didn't know. Here in Haggis, it's more of a two-player battle, and that's the way I've been playing this mostly, and it's very intriguing to me. I love playing the bomb to give my opponent points. They're like, yes, and then you go out. And there's that decision. Do I want to play single cards and, you know, maybe lose control of the round, but get them out of my hand, or do I want to play this great big combo? Yay, my opponent can't do anything about it, but now I'm stuck, and they're going to go out, and I'm going to be stuck with these cards in my hand. It's very interesting. Very much had a teach you flavor to it, but it's good for two players and goes back and forth and it was a very enjoyable it's a very enjoyable game that my wife and I like quite a bit. So haggis. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer and you've been watching The Dice Tower.